Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We are headed into the Tarpon Springs Shepherd Center. Love this thrift store. Don't go in here often, but I love it when I do. I find purses and jewelry to pick up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So hit that notification bell, click all, so you don't miss out on live buy it nows and auctions of purses and jewelry. Subscribe to the channel, and if you have already, thank you so much. And hit a thumbs up for this video. Let's go see if we can find anything for resale. So I've really never showed you how big this story is, but look at this. Halloween stuff, Christmas stuff, furniture, knickknacks, doodads, trinkets. You never know what you're going to find in here. I love this right here. Look at that. Yeah, um, I think I got that. Domicine swords, and they're all there. Wow. There's not any of them missing either. So maybe those are letter openers. I'm not sure. Yeah, they have lots of knickknacks, doodads, trinkets. What is this? I don't know what that is. Chess set, look at that. So we're going to look at the trinkets, doodads, and knickknacks first, and then we're going to look at jewelry and purses. Pretty well organized in here. It's always a great clean store too. Home appliances. Lots of pictures. I love this one. Look at this. Just the detail of it. Look what's in his pocket. Look at all this jewelry. So this looks like it has some pearl and stones on it. I may check that one out to see if that's some sort of a pearl. I'm not sure if it is or not. I 
of this one right here. Loving that bracelet right there. Look at this. Love it and want it, possibly. This is going to be my first purchase right here. Look at this. So, this is bone, this is not wood. Sometimes I think this might be wood. I don't think so though. I think it's bone. Because you can see the striations running. Running straight right there. I'll try to show you up close. That usually will tell you if it is or isn't. But I believe it is. Not sure. Totally positive, but it's beautiful. I'm gonna get this one too. And look at this cute little charm bracelet, old. You have a telephone, a chair, coffee, a frying pan, that's cute. So we found two bracelets so far. looking so that looks like all stone that looks like gemstones there and the one I'm talking about is this right here right here this is beautiful too I'll take it a look at another one please okay, sure. uh, this one right here this one yes please mm -hmm. you want to buy a pocketbook pocketbook we're gonna get this one too. I'm distracted now. When they put purses by the jewelry, it always distracts me. So this is Union Bay. That's cute. I wonder if there's anything up here that might be vintage. I have found some things in here before. It's another store I like to go to and shop. Because you never know what you're going to find. Just look at the handle of this one. I wonder if this is vintage. 
So look at the, I'm gonna show you the hardware too. Look at this. I'm gonna look inside that and see if it has a tag. And as I suspected, this is vintage. I'm gonna show you the inside. Let's look at this. It's just a great bag. And the handle. I forget what that handle is called, but we're gonna pack this one up for resale. So look at this inside. So I do like to buy the vintage bags as well. And there's the brand, V-E-R-D-I, made in USA. Let me zoom in on that so you can see it really well. So we're getting that one. Well, it's unbelievable because it's so thin that it could wear that well, but it does. And this is some kind of animal. Beautiful bag. Kind of interested in this wallet right here. What a great wallet. This looks vintage. Not sure of the branding. We're going to take a look inside and see. Love it. <laughs> oh wow, Donna Karen accessories. How nice is that? You want it? I do. It's nice, right? See, it's fossil. Uh -huh. Old fossil. Old. Like unisex, you know? Uh -huh. It's really nice. It is. The tag off behind. This one right here. Oh, the oh, only one I've got. Off. And you put it back on. Okay, right. I got you. Where'd he go? So this is a sax vintage. I know I got him. Sax Fifth Avenue Italy wallet. I got him to help you because I know you can't lift. Thank goodness he's here. We're gonna switch gears again and go back to the purses. What's in here? That's all messed up. Feels like something's in there. What is in this thing? I don't know what's in that. Where's my beautiful friend Rosetti? Let's see what do we got here. My beautiful friend Rosetti. She's always visiting me. Sometimes you can find eel wallets and purses in here. And I have bought those before and I do have some, I think. there on the left so we did find a couple bracelets so far oh man well, I like this one look at that big chunky red right there let me show you and 
then that looks like it might be amber, but I don't think so. I don't know though. I like this one. Ooh, I like that one in the back. Oh my gosh. It's like Egyptian revival. Look at that. Where? Okay, you Okay, Marianne. All right, Mr. Brandon. I'll see you during the week. Yeah. See you next Saturday. And we are getting that one too. Look at that. This one too. Two of my favorite finds so far in the store. Beautiful pieces right there. I don't know if that's sterling or not. I doubt it, but I'm still going to get it. Here's like an old one that has um, gold flakes in it. Articulated fish. Necklace. Watch bracelet there at the back. I'm not sure I'm going to take a look at that. This one, this has a honeybee on it, and it's a choker. It's gold at. They want eighty dollars for it. That's a good deal. There's a Domicine set right there in the back. Necklace and bracelet. Zoom in on the Goldette honeybee. You can kind of see it right there. That's awesome. Go over and look at the whatnots and the trinkets and the doodads and see if there's anything. It may may want to pick up that I don't ever sell, which I should, but I don't. But I still get it. Let me zoom in on that. I'm not sure what that is. It says 1998 on the bottom. That's definitely not 1998, I don't think. I'm not sure what these are for. If y'all know, comment below and let me know. But these are milk glass. Just not sure what they're used for. Let me show you that up close. 
So made in Italy. It's 1946 and a little bit of a crack right there, but that's super old, so I'm going to get that. This says handmade in Greece on the bottom. Let me show you up close. We are getting that one. What is this? This is also probably handmade in Greece too. Not sure. Now there's nothing broken there. Some marked Greece right there. These are really great pieces. And they're like little, little cute trinkets. Might as well. Might as well. And you say, might as well what? Start selling smalls. Seriously. Those are cute. I love the jewelry boxes. Let's see if there's anything we're missing that we should not leave behind. What are these? So these are made in Italy, and I don't know if these are jewelry boxes or what they are. I don't know what those are. But we're going to go ahead and pack those up. So if y'all have ever seen that designer mark before, let me know in the comments below, because I have not, and I don't know anything about it. I keep debating on whether or not I should get this. This looks like a very old jewelry box. And there is the brand or the designer. I think we'll go ahead and get this one too. It might as well get this also. I think that's brass. Let's see what it says on the bottom. That's copper. Hmm. Definitely old napkin holder copper. Beautiful. Not old, looks old. Some games over here. We don't need any of those. Nice small mirror. Looks like it's old. So when we're out thrifting like this, we're looking for stuff that's unusual, antique. Just something that you might find in an antique store, but instead you're finding it here, which is even more fun, especially when it's jewelry and purses. Let's see.
think this one is. Let's see on the back, it's not Mario. Oh, it's Mario made in Japan. But look how pretty. I think these platters are so festive to have at the holidays. So that's a great. How much is that? $8.99. What a good deal. This looks mid-century. Hmm. Beautiful stained glass shell. Coffee mugs. I spotted the coffee mugs. We're looking through here first to see if there's anything we can't live without. For all you ladies, there's a coffee mug. Well, we got some great pieces of jewelry. We got some trinkets from Greece. And I think we're gonna check out or if this is an old piece. I think it probably is. Great shape too. So we got trinkets from Greece. We got some jewelry, one, one purse. So hit a thumbs up for this video, subscribe to the channel, hand painted in Japan, subscribe to the channel, and until next video, we will see y'all later. Bye.